Hi, welcome to the BJC Teacher Tracker. BJC is an introductory computer science curriculum developed at UC Berkeley, meant mainly for high school teachers. They have a teacher guide that is given to any new teacher that signs up for the program, and it requires a password. BJC is a new project started in fall 2019 by a group of students in CS169. Our customer is Michael Ball. Meet the team. We have Dalton, Jenny, Kimberly, Yi, Varun, and Zach. The main customer needs are listed here, but can be summarized as follows. First, a form for prospective teachers to request access. Second, efficient and effective validation by admin to approve teachers. And third, a statistics page for admin to see how and where the BJC curriculum is being used. Our app is available at this link. When you first arrive on the page, you see the form teachers can use to sign up for access. You can select which curriculum you are teaching from. You can select which state you are using from and press submit. If the submission is successful, you will see a confirmation. Now I will show you the admin login page. I can sign in. Since I am already signed in in this browser, I automatically got signed in. Here's the view of the admin stats page. Over here, you have the unvalidated forms table. As you can see, here is the form I just submitted. This contains all the prospective teachers who have submitted form requests. You can choose to look at their SNAP if they have a SNAP username. You can look at their website for the school they teach at. And you can see their location, email, and contact information. You could choose to delete the teacher and a confirmation will pop up of whether you really want to delete them or not. And you could choose to validate them as well. In the school statistics area, you can see the schools that implement the BJC curriculum. Similarly, you have a course statistics that shows you how they're using the course. Below, you have a map view and you can see where your course is being used. So in this case, we have someone in the Berkeley area using it. You can also see a separate validated forms page and this will show you all the teachers that have been validated. It shows you the same information of the SNAP and the website that you can click into and it also shows you the date of which they were created. Going back to the page, if I click validate, the page will reload and you will see that the school statistics has changed and my course statistics has been updated as well. Now you can see there's another pin that shows the area of the second teacher and the unvalidated forms has been updated. Similarly, if I click into the validated teachers, now I have an additional teacher that has been validated. The links below also will connect you. Thank you.